Hi, I'm Dr. Charlie Cage. I'm a general dentist and a welcome to my channel where I talk about everything dentistry. Let's talk about the most commonly forms of isolation in dentistry. The first one up are cotton rolls. They work great at retracting the cheek and the tongue. They're cheap, they work all right, but they're quite limited. Despite being used so frequently, there can be an annoyance. You have to constantly change them throughout the procedure as they can be oversaturated. And oftentimes it's an annoyance to patients and they end up just spitting it out. Care must also be taken because the cotton rolls can easily hide in a vestibule or under a tongue. So before you dismiss your patient, do a double take and make sure that you didn't leave your patient with any souvenirs. Some other cotton products include gauze or dry angles. Another form of isolation is an optrogate. An optrogate. Hey, I, I didn't come up with the name, okay? Because if I had to name it, it would be something like mouth squeegee, mouth squeegee, like a, like a mouth squeegee. Um, Let's just stick to Optrigate. It works great at retracting the upper and lower lips. It gives you really good visualization of the anterior teeth. So for cosmetic cases, I love using the Optrigate. You can properly see the gingiva and all of the teeth in the front. I also use it for when I'm scanning with Trios or PrimeScan. The next level up is an IsoDry or an IsoVac or an IsoLite. It's pretty much the same device and they work great because it's like having a bite block with suction it retracts the tongue and the cheek and in some instances like the iso light you get extra light it's very easy to use to place and remove but it can be a little bit costly in addition to that your work field can be contaminated and the flange can also create discomfort to your patient and one of the issues that I feel like I run into is that in certain areas of the mouth, it does cause an interference with being able to access certain parts of the mouth. And finally, the rubber dam. I mean, that's been used for years and it is the gold standard for isolation. Nothing compares to it. Not an isolite, isodry, isovac. It is not a substitute to the rubber dam. I say that because rubber dam provides absolute isolation. You can isolate the teeth individually, preventing it from saliva or the contaminants, and it also helps prevent aspiration. It's awesome because it's cheap, but the downside is it does come with a lot of components, which can be overwhelming. There's also a learning curve involved with it, but as soon as you get over that, like with everything in life, you can place your rubber dam very quickly. And in a private office, you can train your assistants to displace it for you. And if you're a student and you work by yourself and you say, well, if I put on a rubber dam, I don't have any way to suction. Well, there's a trick for that. I do have a video that will show you how you can work by yourself and get suction and will leave your hands free to properly do your dentistry. If this video was helpful, be sure to leave a like. And if you have any questions that were not addressed in this video, leave a comment below. Let's talk and be sure to subscribe. I plan to make a lot more of these. Bye.